overpopulation. Way back in 1950, when my parents were born, there were two and a half billion people on this planet. By the time I arrived in 1985, this had doubled to five billion people. Today, there are roughly seven billion, and by the time I'll retire, it's expected to be around 10 billion people. That means that it took from the beginning of humanity, 200,000 years ago, until 1950 to reach two and a half billion people, but it will only take 100 more years to add three times that amount. In other words, the population is growing exponentially. Let me put it differently. By the time you've reached the end of this video, about 300 people have been added to the planet. In an hour from now, there will be 8,500 more people, and this time tomorrow, we'll have 200,000 new Pride and Joy. 1.4 million per week, and 76 million per year. And when there are more people, there are more mouths to be fed. In fact, there's more demand for all the stuff that we need to live. Energy, water, food, and space. Imagine that the world's population has tripled since the 1950s. That means that we need three times as much oil, wood, coal, uranium, electricity, potable water, fish, meat, cereals, vegetables, and of course space. Space to live, but also to grow the food and produce the goods that we need. But, wait a minute, the Earth didn't increase by threefold, now did it? No, it didn't. We still have the same amount of natural resources we had then, or actually less, as we've kept consuming in the meantime. So this decreasing amount of natural resources has to be shared with an increasing amount of people. Oh, and did I mention that these people are consuming more individually as well? And what will we do when shortages appear? Take water for instance. If the beginning of a river flows through one country, and they use all the water they need, and leave too little water to flow into the following country, what would you do? Fight over it? And how about oil? If your country has a monopoly on oil and shortages appear, would you still export it to the rest of the world? And if you'd keep it to yourself, do you think that the other countries will be okay with that? When it comes down to world population, is it really the more the merrier?